Hey guys, uh, it's me, Mr. Myosis, and I'll be going over normal model examples and spe some specific examples using uh, uh, a fuel efficiency of cars. And, oh, you know what? I forgot something, so just one second, I'm going to pause it, and then I'll be right back. I forgot that my AP Stat students had mentioned that the next video I should have a cat. So there's my little cat in the next video. It's not really my cat. Um, but uh, I found this picture and I thought it was a cute cat, so I put it in here. Anyway, um, let's take a look at some examples using the normal, normal model. So uh, suppose a normal model describes the fuel efficiency of cars currently registered in your state, which is California, and the mean is 24 miles per gallon, which doesn't seem very great, does it? With a standard deviation of six miles per gallon. Okay, so we're gonna sketch the normal model and what I have here is my normal model sketch. So we just draw our normal model. Now in the middle is our mean. Then we go out one standard deviation above and below the mean, so we're just gonna add six, because that's our standard deviation. Then we're gonna subtract six, and that'll be our 68%. Then we'll do six more on both sides, so we'll add six, subtract six, that'll be our 95%. And then, and then we'll, do, uh, we'll do some more here, and we'll get 90, another six, and another six, and we'll get 99.7. So that is the population, the percentage is the population in between any of those standard deviations. And sometimes we write it as this, n parentheses mu comma sigma, 24 comma six is ours because that's what we're using for our mean and standard deviation. Okay, mu and sigma. So we're gonna do some problems that utilize this. So you'll see here that I have, uh, I have this shaded in and you'll see where I get that from right now. So it says what percent, this is number one, what percent of all cars get less less than 15 miles per gallon. What percent of all cars? Remember, that's this is the percent of the population. So we're gonna use the normal model to figure this out. Now, 15 miles per gallon, that's, that's about right here, right? Somewhere around here, it's 15 miles per gallon. So we're gonna, you know, from here, we want everything less than, that's all this part right here. Okay, we want all of this shaded area. So how are we gonna do that? Well. Uh, we're going to find a z-score. So let's find a z-score. And the z-score, remember, is value minus mu over sigma. So our value here is 15 minus mu, which is 24, over sigma, which is our standard deviation, which is 6. All right, so we're going to get, um, that looks like negative 9 over 6. And for the purposes of our... Uh, calculator because we're going to use our calculator we're going to want this in decimal I know nine six is nice and perfect here what is that three halves which is negative 1.5 okay so this is our z-score so we're gonna we're looking for the percent of all cars that are less than negative 1.5 of our z-score so let's go ahead and, and figure that out. And so the way I'm gonna figure that out is we're gonna use, oops, we're gonna use the TI Inspire. So let's go ahead and go to the Inspire here. If you don't have an Inspire, um, that's the one that we use in my class. So, you know, I'm sorry, this is what I'm using here. So that I'm gonna use the Inspire. So let's go ahead and count, we're gonna go to our calculator. Actually, what I'll do is I'll start a new document. And we're gonna go to calculator. I'll zoom in a little bit for you guys on this. See what I'm doing here. All right. So we're going to go to menu, statistics, or probability. Either one will work. Let's go to statistics. Distributions. So the normal model is a normal distribution. And we're going to use normal CDF. Normal CDF is for cumulative. So we're going to use, I think it's cumulative. Uh, but we're going to use CDF, OK? We don't really ever want to really use PDF. Um, I haven't figured out when we would use PDF, so let's just stick with normal CDF. Okay, now on a, a TI Inspire CAS, I can put negative infinity because um, that's where we're going, right? This is all the way, it keeps going forever. Well, you know that Z scores, this is one, this is, uh, um, this is negative two, this is negative one, this is negative three. Anything bigger than negative three is going to, or smaller than negative three is gonna be very, very unusual. So if you're using a TI Inspire that's not a CAS, then I would recommend just putting negative 99, okay? Because it doesn't, it doesn't really know infinity. So just use negative 99. 
We'll go tab. Our upper bound is negative 1.5. Okay. Again, we're going from our lower bound, which was negative 99, to our upper bound, which is negative 1.5. So now we're gonna, our mu, our mu when we're dealing with z-scores is zero. Our sigma is zero when we're dealing, remember we're dealing with z-scores here. So it stays zero and one. And we're gonna hit okay. And we're gonna get 0 0.067. All right, so it tells us that 0 0.067. So what we're saying is that six 0.7% of all cars get less than 15 miles per gallon. Okay, so that's how that's how you would do that in our calculator. Now you could use a uh, a Z table. Um, maybe if you're in my class, I'll show you as what a Z table looks like. But really, you know, we've got the technology. We might as well use the calculator. It's really not that bad. Um, in fact, the TI Inspire, now I recommend you write this down and do the Z-score because that really shows the work. Um, but if you shade in and show what you're doing here on the normal model, that also shows that you understand the statistics. But you can also just enter straight in into our normal CDF. So let's go back here. Um, we'll go negative 99 again because I know a lot of you are not using the CAS. My upper bound is uh, 15, and my mu was 24, and my sigma was 6. So I can enter in exactly how the problem states it, and it's going to give me the same thing. Okay. Oh, I know some of you are like, why did you, why did you show me the z-score if this is so much easier? Well, you know, we need to be able to know the z-score because this shows us that you really understand the statistics. Um, so, you know, this is our showing our work, or the other way to do it is to show the actual normal model and the shaded area, okay? Okay, so I'm gonna go over a few more. Um, I probably only have enough time on this video to do maybe one or two more, and then I'll make a, a part two, which will finish this problem off here. So, what percent of, and again, you really, you should try this, so like this one right here was an example, you should maybe try this one. Uh, we'll go two right here. You should maybe try this one here for a, a practice problem and then pause it and come back. Okay, I know I say that um, and some of you are like, eh, just watch the video. But you know, you really should try some of these as practice problems and then come back and check it out. All right, so um, let's do number two. What percent of cars get more than 40 miles per gallon? Okay, so we're gonna find our Z-score again. Um, this time we're going to use 40 because we're looking here, right? 30, you know, we're looking right here. This is 40. We're going to go and find the z-score for that. Okay. And get 2.67. All right, so we want the percent of all cars greater than 2.67. We're going to do that in our calculator, so we're going to do normal CDF. Negative 99. Tab, upper bound. Oh, no, my bad. That's not our upper. Our lower bound now is 2.67. Tab. Our upper bound is positive 99. Oh, that's fine. I can leave it like that. But... Um, now we're going higher, right? We're going, we're going up. So this is going to be our lower bound. Our upper bound's way out here somewhere. Okay. So then um, we'll leave those alone because we're talking about z scores, and we get 0 0.0038. All right, 0 0.0038. 0 0.0038. So what percent of cars get more than 40 miles per gallon? About 0.38% of all cars. That is a small percentage. As you can see, that's why we say anything above two standard deviation is strange. Only 0.38% of all cars get above 40 miles per gallon. Not very many Priuses. It's got to be, this can't be California. It's got to be like, you know, I don't know, 
Colorado. Maybe not Colorado. I'm like, you know. I don't know. I don't want to say a bad st state and get anybody offended. So uh, we'll just keep it California. <laughs> Although I think we got a lot more Priuses in California and Teslas. Um, okay, so we got, I got time for one more here. Uh, so let's check this one out. What percent of all cars get between 20 and 30? Um, all right, this is kind of cool. So now instead of being, you know, we have a, a more than or a less than, we have between. So we're gonna, we're gonna need to find a z-score for 20 and a z-score for 30, okay? So uh, we'll go, and remember that uh, here, we could have just entered it in with 40 and 24 and six in our calculator, but let's go ahead and we'll compute the z-score for both of these here. So we're gonna go uh, 20 minus 24 over, so we're looking like this right here, 20 and 30 right here. So we're looking at this percent. What percent are right in the middle here? Okay, so 20 minus 24 over six, and we're gonna get negative four over six, which is approximately ah, 0 0.67, and we'll get, um, we'll get 30 minus 24, over six, which is approximately one, duh. <laughs> I don't know why I sat there for so long. One, okay, and it's right there, duh, one standard deviation above the mean. Dee -dee -dee. Okay, come on, wake up there, Abel, Mr. Myasis. All right, so we're looking for the probability that um, Z is between one and negative 0.67. So we're gonna go to our calculator. Menu, statistics, distributions, normal CDF. Nope, that's not my lower bound. My lower bound is negative 0.67. Ah, six, seven. And my upper bound is one. Tab, tab, tab. And I get 0.589, which I'm just gonna say is 0.59. So I got 0 0.59, which tells me that 59% of all cars in said state get between 20 and 30 miles per gallon. All right, so there we've got three examples. And in the next video, I'll finish off these next three examples of how we uh, use the normal model. All right, see you. See you. See some of you soon. Talk to <laughs> others I won't see ever. But uh, hopefully you got something out of this. Bye for now.